Tava jogando o jogo. Jesus. Fazendo over. Mas não vai ter um bom tempo. Jesus is coming in. Look on the rules. I got some rain today. They didn't mention thunder and lightning though. But I can't trust Google either. So, uh, Christians jump all over Mormons when they found out from the tanners, Gerald and Sandra, about the original Book of Mormon that had a passage that was later edited with new information. And, uh, <clears throat> and so, with the Joseph Smith papers now, uh, all Mormons are studying it, right? No? Hmm. And you go on making comments based on your vast knowledge and experience of Mormon scripture. Well, anyway, the passage that uh, Christians harp on is 1 Nephi 11 18. They said unto me, Behold, the virgin whom thou sayest is the mother of the Son of God, after the manner of the flesh. This originally in the Book of Mormon was just God, after the manner of the flesh. Now remember, the Book of Mormon starts off telling us learning of the Jews' language of the Egyptians. He's referring to Isaiah that talks about this. And so it's not Jesus, it's Emmanuel, the sun god of the Egyptians. But it's explained that it's supposed to be God, not son of God, in 2 Nephi, chapter 11. This is Jacob speaking, the usurper. And where did I see that? The final thing, yeah, in verse 4, uh, Behold, my soul delighteth in proving unto my people the truth of the coming of Christ, Emmanuel, not Jesus. For, for this end hath the law of Moses been given, and all things which have been given of God from the beginning of the world unto man are typifying of him. So the story of Adam and Eve and Lilith, typifying of him. Cain and Abel, typifying of him. Enoch, typifying of him. Noah, typifying of him. Catch and cut him. Abraham, typifying of him. Isaac, typifying of him. Jacob, the usurper, typifying of him, because he usurps from the great and abominable church to restore the true church of Joseph Smith. Typifying of him. Joseph. The Hero Christ of Genesis. They're separate books. They were not one book. Typifying of him. Moses. Amazon. On and on and on. Uh, let's see. And verse 7. For if there be no Christ. You pay attention, Mormons. You deny the Christ. Pay attention. This is what it means. There be no God. And if there be no God, we are not. Or we could not have, there could have been no creation. But there is a God. And he is Christ. Because he's Emmanuel. The name means Son God. And so, yes, the Father God is Emmanuel also. But the Son God. Second Nephi chapter 3. Same name patterns. Let's catch on to that. But there is a God, and he is Christ, and he cometh in the fullness of his own time. That's why Joseph Smith condemned Brigham Young for making an editing of the Book of Mormon and having it published. Joseph Smith put a stop to it and uh, restored the original Book of Mormon. Well, Joseph Smith had to die, so Brigham Young 
could have his version of the Book of Mormon. That's what we've got. So, yes, Joseph Smith Papers, the authoritative source for all things Mormonism. Don't trust the incorrect thing. And if you're curious, because it's prophesied in the Book of Mormon too. <laughs> you don't believe me, do you? Nobody ever believes me. So here's the founding of Brigham Young's Great Abominable Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the Abominable Christ of the First Vision. The angel said unto Nephi, Behold, the formation of the church, which is most abominable of all of the churches, that slayeth the Mormons of God, and, and tortureth them, and bindeth them down with tithing, and yoketh them with a yoke of iron, and bringeth them down into captivity with the temple covenant path. And they're filthy rich, and their temples are filthy rich, and they're all over the world. And polygamy is their desires. And they're all over the world. Pick the scripture part. Down, oh, no, nope, here it is. Uh, here's the mouth of the Jew that it proceeded forth out of, and yes, Jewish Israelites. Uh, that's what Joseph Smith Sr. was, the new Israelites with Jewish mysticism. <coughs> and so they're able to use the learning of the Jews in writing the Book of Mormon, talking about themselves. And so I, I oh yeah, there's a comment. Uh, somebody was asking me. Uh, senior, in uh, talking about Second Nephi chapter three, is represented by Lehi, who's preparing Joseph, uh, Joseph Jr., to be the leader of the church. But he's telling the story in the sense that it will happen in the future with a man named Joseph who has a father named Joseph. Senior had to rewrite 116 pages. And after they go forth in 26, the hand of the 12 apostles of the Lamb, which Thomas B. Morris was the first one, from the Jews unto the Gentiles, from the church unto the rest of the United States, and then over in Europe, thou seest the formation of that great and abominable church, the Danites, which is most abominable. Because they're pushing Jesus. So the 1838 edition of the Joseph Smith history comes right out and says, because of evil people telling everybody that this is a Christian church with Jesus, I have to correct those errors and set you guys straight. And it gives the first vision and then Nephi, both typifying of our true Christ. And refers to the Gospel of the Lamb, Latter day Christ. They take away many of the plain and precious parts from the Book of Mormon and the many of the covenants. 17 March 1842. Women, anybody familiar with that one? Did you read it in the Joseph Smith Papers? Did you watch my video when I read it from the Joseph Smith Papers? Oaks did. He was dead. <laughs> 19 July 1840. Yep, there's a reason why Brigham Young did not publish these. <clears throat> I remember going into a bookstore up in uh, uh, Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada, while I was living there with my first wife and had kids, and uh, going to the university. I, one of the members of our ward in McGrath ran a bookstore for Mormons, Mormon bookstore. And uh, I was in there looking around and saw unpublished writings of Joseph Smith. And I thought, wow, that, I never knew Joseph had unpublished writings. I thought we had them all. But, uh, yeah, this has been keeping it a secret because they don't want you to know 19 July 1840. It turns to the Last Supper, even. But the Lamb of God, 8 April 2024. And after these plain and precious things are taken away, it goeth forth unto all nations. Ta-da! The Book of Mormon. 
with the Son of God rather than God. Jesus rather than the Jewish Messiah. Understood by Joseph as a Mormon. And Joseph was a foundation, cornerstone Christ. Talking about a capstone Christ in the latter days. And goes to Europe. And many things were taken out. Many things were edited. The Doctrine and Covenants were butchered. In fact, I didn't mention this in the video about sex trafficking, but Section 131 was gutted by Brigham Young when he put in Section 132, accusing Joseph of having written it. I did the video showing you guys that Section 132 was written after the manner of speech of Brigham Young's written temple endowment and ceiling. And uh, when you tie it all together with the first law of obedience, that used to be where women would have to murder themselves if they didn't obey their husbands. Yeah, that, that's Brigham that's speaking here. They, they compiled Brigham Young's words, put it into a scripture that they claimed was Joseph. There is no other publication for it like the Times and Seasons for Section 85 that was put in the exact same year, the year before Brigham Young died. And uh, that was the whole point and purpose. They had to gut Section 131, talked about monogamy. <laughs> so they can put in Section 132. But you're not going to know that if you're not studying their Joseph Smith papers. Oh, I did. And so, yeah. Then Mormons are stumbling because they think it's Jesus, denying the Christ, Antichrist, and uh, getting the wrong information from not going back to the Joseph Smith papers. So, yeah, is the Great and Abominable Church going to redo our scriptures now to restore the originals? Or do we have to keep searching, know to go searching through the Joseph Smith papers? Place your bets. Oh, we can't bet in Utah. Except for the church and insurance companies. <laughs> Government insurance. 